And welcome in to a Friday edition of the Backstage Pass, always live and in living color here. And that's why I love live shows. As the countdown continues now, just a little over two weeks away from Country Radio Seminar in Nashville, uh, Tennessee at the Omni Hotel. Myself and, of course, Kirsty Krause, Jeff McMahon, uh, presented by our good friends over at Bang Till Whiskey, one of our lead sponsors there. And, of course, Hank Jr. Productions and our good friends at Mitch Max. Dot com for that backstage pass merchandise. You can head over to MitchMax.com. More on the show coming up from our sponsors. And of course, if you need websites and other information that is at the bottom of the screen, the screen back here with Nick Canizales, uh, yours truly getting ready for that, Nick. It's going to be exciting. CRS, uh, Craig yep. Campbell, and a host of other artists. I think we're already kind of booked up. I'm having to invent spots now uh, to get people on at the Omni, but it's going to be a lot of fun there. Alyssa Bonagura is going to stop by and a whole lot more. Uh, it's just amazing how we get to have a little fun there. Uh, in the great music city and pleased to welcome on here an artist who i got a chance to kind of hear that song one time and this single came out and i love it too much i had to play it over and over again and that is the title of the song as the nashville recording artist uh, haley joins us here on the program haley how you doing i'm great how are you we're doing good that's a mouthful right there too let's just get hey, right we're <laughs> <laughs> gotta get it all out. <laughs> you gotta get it all out man it's sponsors it's everything no doubt mm -hmm. uh hey tell me about this because i'm uh, still young in your career but this is something you kind of knew uh you wanted to do for a long time i love the story um tell me a little bit about yourself too here at the top and love too much is out there across all the digital platforms a fantastic fantastic song i uh, love you. everything about it um but now, like I said, uh, from Missouri, is that correct originally? Yes, I'm from Missouri. Well, if you really want to get technical, I'm from the state line of Missouri okay. and Arkansas. <laughs> but yes, okay. I'm from Missouri. I moved to Nashville three years ago. And funny enough, the song, the single, Love Too Much, I wrote when I first came to town. And I've been holding on to it for that long. So it's a very special song to me. And I thought, what a better perfect song that describes me perfectly and who I am as an artist, put that one out first. I love it too. No, no, that no. is fantastic. So, well, first of all, sorry for being kind of an odd, <laughs> in an, an odd <laughs> position. I've never, uh, I haven't, I've never did a podcast and uh, picking up kids from school before. And listen, <laughs> you know, the last several years have been kind of crazy for, for everyone, for a lot of artists out there. For you, yeah. did you have to kind of reinvent yourself for the time being whenever, you know, there was no shows out there and, and yeah. you know, you could go live anywhere. Take us through yeah. that process of what you what you were doing the past couple of years and then now how everything has kind of opened up and s somewhat back to normal. Well, I honestly, during the beginning of COVID, I was in Missouri quarantining mm -hmm. with my family and I had been there for, shoot, three, four months maybe. And then I finally came back to Nashville and I didn't even play any. I played one show, I think. Wow during that entire year. So yeah, had a little bit of a change. It was definitely out of the ordinary, but I mean, we all did. We all had change. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like, this really sucks, but everybody else is doing the same thing. And, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Now tell me about this too. Of course, being in Nashville, not very long. And then of course, uh, a cut from a major recording country artist who I love so much. I've loved her ever since. Martina McBride. Uh, tell me about that because uh, a huge honor for you, young in your career, to be able to yeah. get accolades like that. I mean, you're, 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 I'm sure the reaction was yeah, probably that, mind blowing. That's what a was crazy that like? Story. That's a crazy story. Um, so I got to be on the TV show called Songland. Mm -hmm. I flew out to LA. Of gosh, I got a phone call on a Thursday or a Friday night from LA, and they were like, "Hey, you available to fly out Monday morning to be on the show?" And I was like yeah packed my bags <laughs> caught a flight and got out there monday morning and you know found out that martina mcbride was going to be the artist that i was going to be pitching a song to and of course i'm 19 years old i'm like she ain't gonna pick me there is, there's no way this song is like it's a good song i love it i had faith in it but like i was just like no nah, the other writers on this episode are just too talented there's no way i've never won anything before and when I found out, you know, she was like, the song I choose is Girls Like Me. I dropped to the floor. <laughs> I started crying. It's on YouTube somewhere, a video of me crying. <laughs> but, man, it was it's amazing. And I'm still so grateful for it. And, I mean, look at me smiling how much, you know, it just explains <laughs> how happy I am about it still. Love that. Great, great uh, endeavor. No doubt about it, too. Is he freezing up? I guess it froze there for a second. You're freezing up uh -oh. a little bit, but uh, sorry about that. You're good. 
Uh, you good? Just that's a once, once in a lifetime experience. What was that like? like? Man, it was like a dream come true. Like I mm-hmm. remember when I was out there staying in the hotel, I was just like, "Am I actually here?" <laughs> Am I actually doing this? Like, what is going on? This is literally a dream come true. And I remember the first time I saw Martina, too, on that very first airing. And, like, the very first time we filmed it, I was just like, she's sitting right there in the chair. That's Martina McBride. This is crazy. She's listening to me sing. And when I had my final performance, I actually made her cry. Like, she, she wow. teared up when she heard the song. So I was just like, That's, this is too crazy. It's not real. It's not happening. <laughs> I said the same thing, Haley, when I interviewed Terry Clark uh, this last year, and I was like, is this really happening right now? My favorite artist of the 90s? Uh, yeah, it did. It did. And I'll say this. It was a great great show. And if you missed it, it's Such still out there. Feeling, the it? It's an amazing feeling, isn't it? It's a great feeling. It, it really is, no doubt. And you're one of your icons, no doubt, to sing in front of her and to have that type of honor uh, for you, something you'll never, never forget. Uh, tell me about uh, songwriting before we, before we play one here on the show. Uh, and again, you can check her out at HaleyOfficial.com. And Love Too Much is the latest single out there. Uh, just tell me about songwriting, the process of it. What do you enjoy the most? Um, well, I enjoy it all, but melody is <laughs> pretty much the most. And I'll tell you how I get a lot of my ideas. And it sounds crazy, but it can be from me driving my car down the road. I'm like, ooh, I got a voice memo of this. Or in the shower, ooh, I got a voice memo of this. Or, or <laughs> laying in bed at night, ooh, I got a voice memo of this. It's like, I don't know, most of my ideas just come when I'm not even asking for it. It's just like, Oh, I like that melody, or I like those lyrics, or something, and I'll just jumble it down on my voice memos, and then take it to a ride, or pick on it myself, and figure it out from there. I love that. Well, time to I'm, you ready to play one, man? Let's ready. I'm I'm ready to play. I'm ready to hear it. I'm ready to hear it. <laughs> my favorite part of the show. We get a chance to showcase her as an artist, and of course, the vocals out there again. HaleyOfficial.com and Love Too Much is the current single out there. So make sure you guys. Go check that out if you haven't uh, checked it out already. There are some comments coming in. We'll get to those after the performance from Haley. And, of course, a word from our sponsors. It's all yours. All right. Here's my new single called Love Too Much. Plans. Everybody's talking about plans. What I should do. Who I should be. Oh, and you. Why don't you just worry about you? Yeah, I don't need someone to tell me how to be me. Cause I love too much. Yeah, I'm opened up. Second chances are kind of my thing, but so what? Got my head in the clouds. God's on the down. And I don't want to be someone who doesn't love too much. Whoa, whoa. I'm just gonna live my life. Got my own direction, got no apologies. But when you, why don't you just worry about you? Don't need someone to tell me how to be me. Cause I love too much. Yeah, I'm open up. Second chances are kind of my thing, but so what? Got my head in the clouds. No, I don't look down. And I don't want to be someone who doesn't love too much. Whoa, 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 Cause I love too much. Yeah, I'm open to second chances are kind of my thing, but so The bangtail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle. And the tail has a super smooth and warm finish.
behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-host Kirsty Krause, Jeff McMahon, and Karen Lee Batten as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune in to the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass. And back here with Haley on the Backstage Pass. Of course, coming up next week, some great shows. The great John Michael Montgomery is going to stop by. And if you like Twisted Sister, that's right, J.J. French is going to stop by, the founder and lead guitarist of Twisted Sister. We get to rock out with J.J. On the uh, show, and of course, uh, CRS coming up, Caitlin Smith and Craig Campbell and a host of others are going to join us there at the Omni Hotel the 23rd to the 25th of this very month. Uh, you know, I, I thought it'd be groovy, like you said, with Love Too Much, which is the current single from Haley out there across all the uh, digital platforms. And uh, you can move your head to it. You can kind of get a good feel. I love the just the energy you put into the recorded version going into that crescendo and, of course, the chorus. Uh, you mentioned it was kind of the, 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 the song that... Uh, you knew you were going to release at some point and being in Nashville, the, the writing behind it is phenomenal. I love it. Thank you. I mean, it's just be beautiful coming to that. Well, I always say this, uh, you know, you guys never rest on your laurels when it comes to music. Uh, what's, what's next. I'm sure there's some, some plans for a more songs in the can, some things you're looking to step in the studio and record. And is there plans for like a full length album in the future too? Um, no plans for a full length album right <clears throat> now, but I do already have, an idea of which song I'm going to put out next. Okay. All right. We'll leave the tease oh, that's there. perfect. <laughs> Let me ask you this. You know, you, you, you mentioned your lyrics earlier. You know, as an artist, you know, we see you know, every artist. How tough is it to kind of let your guard down and kind of really get deep, you know, of your sometimes your personal life? And, and uh, that's where, you know, we hear just a lot of songs of uh, a lot of people can relate to things like that, you know, to, to just a variety of people. Is, is that tough to kind of let your guard down sometimes and, and you know, in order to make uh, the perfect song and, and uh, to relate to your, to your fans? Honestly, no. I really put my heart out on my sleeve, and I take pride in that. I mean, literally, I do. I love too much. Um, my number one goal with writing songs has always been I want somebody to relate to this. I want somebody to feel good. I want somebody to be able to cry to this song. Like I've always, cause when I listen to music, I, I've got to love it, man. Like if it makes me cry, if I can hear the lyrics and think of somebody I love, or just, it's a real life scenario, you know, that's when I know I love it. So when I write mm -hmm. my songs, I want it to be relatable. I want people to be like, yeah, I totally get it. Like I would say that too. And so now it's never really been hard to get my guard down. I always put my heart on my sleeves and everything I do pretty much. Let me ask you this in the live performances, uh, kind of favorite cover songs to do. What are they? Who? Katy Perry, the one that got away. Really? <laughs> I know she's not even country, but I just love the acoustic version of that song. It's really good. Yeah. It's, there's no doubt. She's, she's like, she'll pack a punch. Like I said, out there too. I've seen her in concert probably about, Seven, eight, nine years ago when she came to Houston down here where, in Texas where we are and packed a punch, the dancers, the whole line. I mean, it was one of those those treats to have, no doubt, too. And Nick, if you've never yeah. seen Katy Perry, uh, you might want to go check her out. Uh, I have not. I haven't, you know, I have not seen Carrie. That's, a, you know, that's another person I would love to see. Uh, I was going to ask you, how do you juggle, you know, you guys are so busy all the time. So how do you juggle your, your personal life along with, with singing, your professional life? Do you, how do you find that fine balance? Um. I don't really, <laughs> this is so messed up sounding, but I don't really have a personal life. I, like I said, I know this is really sad sounding, but I don't have a lot of friends. It's just like music and work. That's my life. <laughs> I hardly ever go out. I know I need to more. I turned 21 this year and I've maybe been out like four or five times. <laughs> well, kind of sad. <laughs> but it's the what? truth. It's well, the truth. <laughs> yeah. Well, it work, it work speaks for itself, no doubt. And tell me about this, because I know you have an older brother there, uh, Michael, and he's kind of helped you get your foot in the door. Tell me more about that story and how just how helpful he's been. Yeah, Michael Tyler, he, uh, my big bro, he actually loved, he wrote Love Too Much with me. And mm -hmm. he brought me to Pure Music, and his best friend, Jaron Boyer, was the track guy. He helped write as well on this song. And I remember that day on that right, he was like, 
you know, what I want to see from you is you writing songs that are about you and who you are and, you know, just really honing your craft. And he's like, I think we need to write you a realistic song about who you are and what's going on. And I was like, okay, that's a challenge for me because usually I'm writing sad love, love songs or love songs. <laughs> like I literally just love songs. So I was like, all right, I'm down for it. So, um, yeah, he helped write love too much and he just, he gives me a lot of tips and tricks and he listens mm -hmm. to my stuff and he'll tell me what he likes about it and then he'll tell me what he doesn't like about it. So he's great. He's super talented. He writes like all of Jason Aldean's music. There <laughs> you crazy. go. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's crazy. We're, we're in February. I can't, I don't know where the, where the month has already flown by. It's, it's, it's nuts. I know. What, what are your goals for, for this year? What do you want to accomplish? Um, you know, do you have, Hey, I want to, you know, by the summer, I would love to do this. By the fall, I would love to do this. What, what are some of those goals? Well, my main goal for this year is I want to play a show at the listening room. Ooh. I know that's like, oh, Haley, why would you want to do that? Like, I don't know. Listening room. I've always wanted to play the listening room. I think it's great how everybody pays attention there to the artists because I've played in a lot of bars and half the people are just like, la di da di da <laughs> Who's on stage? We don't know. Don't care. So I've always wanted to play at the listening room because I just respect the heck out of that place. I think it's great. And I've just always wanted to play there. I, I do really want to get a band together, too. That's another goal of mine, getting a band together and playing some shows here in town. We well, we need to talk off air. I'm going to say that. We'll talk off air because I, I may have something for you, too. Just we got to talk off air. There's some some things that might be able to help you out, too. So we'll definitely do that off air today, too, as well. Some good news coming coming your way, no doubt. Um, let me ask you about this. What's the most challenging part of the music industry? People say different stories about it. And, of course, Nashville's a 10-year town. And what's the, I guess, the most challenging part or what has been the most challenging part for Haley, the artist? Where do I begin? Um, <laughs> a lot of no's, a mm -hmm. lot of maybe's. A lot of heartbreak. I think that's the most challenging part about it. You get your hopes up and, you know, they say, don't get your hopes up. They're just, they just want a meeting, blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. But I think that's probably one of the most challenging things about it is like a lot of L's, no W's. <laughs> it's just like, you got to keep going though. You got to keep pushing through it. Like it's, you got to have a very, very strong heart to be mm -hmm. in this industry. And I think, you know, it's, we're a bunch of dreamers. Everybody who's a songwriter, you're an artist, you're mm -hmm. a creator, you're a dreamer, and we have big hearts. And, you know, being told no a lot and then the comparison game on, well, this person got this and that person got that, you know, it's just mm -hmm. like, got to push past it. Yep. Oh, your, your mic, isn't it? There it is. <laughs> My bad. Hey, I make like it might work now. Hey, uh, what, what's the best advice you've ever received? Hmm. The best advice I think I've ever received would probably be, dude, probably don't get your hopes up. <laughs> and that's just what my brother that, has that told is, me before. That's good advice don't right get your there. hopes up. And mm -hmm. it's, it is the truth because, you know, you you get into a lot of things where you're like, oh, what's going to come from this or what's going to come from that? And mm -hmm. honestly, it's probably don't get your hopes up. It's really kind of truth. I mean, it's truthful. It's very truthful. You can take that as a sad way, but I think it's just truthful. And it helps you be a stronger person and a stronger artist. And if you're someone like me who's completely independent, like that's really some good advice you can take is just try not to get your hopes up for everything. <laughs> it's good to dream though. Hey, no yeah. doubt about that. Hey, sticking with country music um, from a young age, I me, mean, obviously Martina, we talked about that story, no doubt. And congratulations on that. Something you'll remember for the rest of your life. No, no yeah. doubt about that. Other musical influences growing up in country music. Who were they? Oh gosh. Jason Aldean. Because, mm -hmm. you know, my dad was always playing in the car <laughs> all the time, all the time. Carrie Underwood, uh, Shania Twain, the mm -hmm. Dixie Chicks. A little bit of everything. Those oh, are, nice. Yeah, all a little of bit of everything. <laughs> those, are good. those are really Anything good. Anything my mom hear? was playing in the car, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey. Taylor Swift, <laughs> you there know you how it goes. One of the best. You're not lying. Are you ready to hear? I'm ready to hear some more music. Let's, I mean, let's do it. You knocked it out of the park in that in that first song. She did. She did. Thank you. I'm telling you, Thank that's you. why. Like all you right. said, when they come, they come on this show, they knock it out of the park all the time. She's doing that. <laughs> uh, this song is more than likely going to be my next single, and it's called "Didn't Have to Love Me." Here we go. Sitting in the doorway that you used to walk in. That was just a memory of what could have been The 
There was no way that I could see this. You played your part for no good reason. It still leaves me confused. Cause you didn't have to love me. You didn't have to blow up my phone. Starting something and doing it. I guess I'm bad at letting go. No, you didn't have to love me. You didn't have to make me feel wanted. You built something fall apart and you left me here with nothing. You didn't have to love me. No, you didn't have to love me. No, it's been a while since I have heard from you. But honestly, I guess I'm not expecting. Too. I hate on this the smell of your cologne. It used to be on everything that I own. I'd rather feel this than be alone. Cause you didn't have to love me. You didn't have to blow on my phone. Starting something and doing it. Guess I'm bad at letting go. No, you didn't have to love me. You didn't have to make me feel wanted. You built something fall apart and you left me here with nothing. You didn't have to love me. No, you didn't have to love me. Oh, 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 oh no. No, you didn't, no, you didn't have to. No, you didn't, no, you didn't have to. No, you didn't, no, you didn't have to love me, love me. Mm. No, you didn't, no, you didn't have to. No, you didn't, no, you didn't have to. No, you didn't, no, you didn't have to love me, love me. You didn't have to love me. You didn't have to blow up my phone. Starting something and doing it. I guess I'm bad at letting go. No, you didn't have to love me. You didn't have to make me feel wanted. You built something to fall apart. And Left me here with nothing. You didn't have to love me. No, you didn't have to love me. You didn't have to love me. Go behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-hosts Kirsty Krause, Jeff McMahon, and Karen Lee Batten as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune in to the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass. And back here on the show again, the countdown to CRS, just a little over two weeks away. And I can tell you right, that opening day is going to be a lot of fun getting in there, uh, getting a lot of things established too as well. And you never, you never know, surprise visits are going to happen the entire week. So I can't wait for Haley to crash the party or if we're somewhere else oh, yeah. sort of off site, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, just that first day, Ali Colleen, John Perry, uh, the Nash Villains, uh, Dave Wilbert and uh, Alana McCready, CJ Solar. It's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, uh, so much is going to happen there, too, as well. Cannot wait to uh, get up there and have a lot of fun. And people are saying, Haley, I've got to eat at several different places. Coming back, weighing a little bit more, get, putting on more of that, uh, the LBs. But I'm definitely going to have a little bit of fun there. Hattie B's, the chicken, and I'll talk to you about some other places that you could probably just put us in route to when we're there, too. Oh, well. yeah. Um, can see why it's going to be your next single, too, and definitely um, – Love that song. Is there kind of a release date for that one coming up? No, no release date yet. No release date. Okay. I'm there kind of like just fishing for information out there too as well. So I don't want to get her, <laughs> get her in trouble, but I love that song too. Nick, what you got? Uh, Haley, I, you know, I, God, I just lost my train of thought. You know, we, you know, let me, I want to, I want to kind of get on to, you know, it, outside of, uh, outside of singing, what are some of your hobbies? What, what do you love to do? Cool, man. I I'm like a jack of all trades. You give me something to do, and I'm all right at it. So like, I have a lot of things that I like to do. Not a master of any of it, but I like to roller skate. I think roller skating is fun. Uh, I love like this is not even really a, 
I don't even know what you'd call it as a hobby. I guess just modeling. I love to go out and get content, and it's fun. I like to, uh, <laughs> I like to paint. I'm really okay. good at painting. Um, what else do I do for fun? TikTok. Love to make TikToks. It's like so fun. <laughs> Catch me making TikToks at Haley Official One. <laughs> there you go. We'll get to check those out. Uh, what's, I guess, favorite thing to paint? What, what's the best thing that you feel like you've... Uh... Dude, nature. Nature okay. is, like, so fun. Like, I, the first time I really found out I was good at painting, I painted a sunflower. And I showed my mom. She's like, you did that? I was like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, can I have that? I'm going to hang it on the wall. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> hey, you where, where's your, what's your best vacation you've ever had? Where Or if... Is there is there a best vacation mm. place that you've ever been to or you want to go to? Maybe in the near future? Dude, this is so cliche, but I love going to Florida. Yep. Love Florida. I want to go to Florida right now. It's it's literally snowed earlier today here. Super cold out. And I'm like, I want to go to Florida. But um, definitely Florida is like one of my favorite places to go. I think Seattle was really great too. Really pretty city. Um, I've never been outside of the U.S. though. Ooh, so I need to get uh, a passport and go travel some. There you go. Well, I've been to done a few trips here and there. I'm not a big fan of cruises. No, no, no disrespect to people. That I haven't cruises, been on but, one. <laughs> uh, just one of those things to where I don't like getting stuck on a boat. I love boats, love going fishing and being on the water and stuff like that too. But just having that itinerary to where you have to actually follow a schedule. Dinner time is this excursions are this. And then, Back on the it. boats and stuff like that. I like to fly. You need into a place. vacation from vacation after you, that one. You, you kind of do need a vacation from a vacation. Yeah. And that's, you know, I'll be busy that week in Nashville. But what's great about it is I'm packing the winter clothes too, Haley, because yeah. it's, cold. Saying, it's going to be cold that last mm -hmm. week too. So I mean, uh, look, I'm wearing a turtleneck and a jacket in my house. <laughs> I don't, hey, how cold, cold is it up there? Huh? How cold is it up there right now? Uh, it was 27 Ooh. degrees this yeah. morning. When I checked, I had ice all over my car. Oh, I go out there and sit fun. in it and let it heat up. <laughs> Ugh, I'm over winter time already. I know. <laughs> I, I'm ready to, like I said, they said groundhog saw the shadows. So six more weeks of winter for whatever that's worth. But I'd rather it to get out of here and just uh, come mm -hmm. on, March. Come on fast. We need to... that trip to Florida is going to be coming soon for me. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> that's good. Fact, Kirsty Kraus, one of our co-hosts here on the show, she just got back from there for spending some time with Key West, and she kept uh, sending us group text message pictures, oh, gosh. like sunsets and places she'd stayed. And I went, yeah. wow. And Henry's telling us right now, one of our sponsors, 80 degrees right now in Tampa. So, <laughs> Must all right, be I'm nice. going to Tampa. You want to Tampa? Must be Tampa. nice. I love Tampa. <laughs> Before we get into a little rapid fire, hey, you want to play one more for us? Let's play another one. What do you say? All right, I'll Let's play Girls Like Me. All right, here we go. Remember that first time we fell in love Never been the one to be afraid to jump But sometimes it hurts And the world still turns Remember that first sad broken heart And I told myself I wouldn't fall apart So I let it burn That's how you live and learn it ain't always easy, but it's gonna be all right. Here's to the girls like me, hiding insecurities with a cigarette and a bottle of whiskey. Here's to the girls at home in the dark, all alone, singing, Why the hell does he miss me? You act so tough, like you do nothing, cause you don't want them to see. Here's to the girls like me. Fast forward, now your old dreams are gone and you've got new priorities. You thought you knew what you wanted, but you had it all wrong. Yeah, it takes a few steps just to get it all together. It might hurt now, but it won't last forever. Make those mistakes that'll make you better. Here's to the girls like me, hiding insecurities with a cigarette and a bottle of whiskey. Here's to the girls at home in the dark, all alone, singing, Why the hell does it miss me? You act so tough, like you do nothing, cause you don't want them to see. So here's to the girls like me. Here's to the girls like me. Here's to the girls like me. Is it the girls like me, girl? You're jealous like me. 
The bangtail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. Go behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-host Kirsty Krause, Jeff McMahon, and Karen Lee Batten as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune in to the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass. All right, back here on the show again for more minutes with Nashville recording artist uh, Haley here on the show. And, of course, uh, CRS coming up here 23rd to 25th in uh, the Omni Hotel right there in Nashville. And, of course, uh, we'll be in that media room uh, doing all types of shows. Uh, be on the lookout for a lot of things added to uh, the socials. Uh, just some more joining us, too. My good buddy Shane Owens is going to stop by. Uh, Minnie Murphy, Nashville recording artist Dallas Remington, Presley and Taylor, Jesse G., uh, J.D. Shelburne, Aaron Kinsey, a whole lot more, Caitlin Smith, and uh, busy week for us there. And Haley's going to crash our party somewhere down the line. So oh, yeah. definitely hey, that'll be great. Crash your, party, totally. <laughs> get your whiskey, <laughs> whether it's Bangtail, and uh, definitely uh, get that bottle, raise it up, and say, hey, you know what? For the first time in two years, we're back live on location in uh, Music City. Awesome. I love that song, and I was just telling Nick, too, you could sing the phone book A to Z, oh, super man. talented. And I said, you know what? Oh, She's you. going to be a star. Yeah, I, said, I make predictions a star on this, right on this there. show. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw one out there for you. Just count this on the day, February 4th at 440 Central Time down here, February 4th. Haley will be on the Grand Ole Opry stage one day. Mark That's that the dream, though. That's the, You asked me earlier, you said, well, what's your dream this year? <laughs> the Grand Ole Opry is not this year. There's no way. I mean, I mean, there's miracles, yes. But the Grand Ole Opry is the main goal. <laughs> well, well, listen, I mean, look, if you don't have a dream, you don't have a goal right there. So I mean, right, you got to exactly. dream, dream big. Exactly. Yep. And I'm, I'm with that. So just just put that in the archives that I made that prediction. Let's make that dream happen, no doubt. And we said that here uh, February 4th, 2022 at uh, 440 Central Time. We'll always remember that, too. I like to make bold predictions here on the show because you never know where they're going to go. But when I see Great. something in someone like yourself, we, we're, we're pretty accurate Thank here on the you. show when we do that. Thank no you doubt. so much. I really appreciate that. Seriously, <laughs> thank you so much. No doubt. no doubt. All right, let's do this one. Uh, rapid Fire, love doing this. Uh, favorite foods in Nashville. What should I get? What do you like? Uh, is it a cooking thing? Takeout? Ooh, or I've, got Takeout. I've got a All lot. I've got a lot. Let's go. Let's okay. go. First stop, you need to go to the grilled cheesery. Mm. If you like grilled cheese, they can make it any way you want, however you want, add bacon to it. They can <laughs> have the whole nine yards. They have the best tomato soup there too. Oh my God. It's like seriously the best I've ever had in my entire life. Um, Maggiano's Little Italy. Dude, Ooh. Maggiano's, that is my place. Love that place. I just that is, that like is my ago. place. I go to Houston, that's my place. I, I, dude, that's You know what? That's 12 bonus points right there for you. And, you know, they did have this one place. It's called Taco Mamacita. But I just found out. I haven't been in a while. But I just found out that the location shut down. Really? Are you serious? Uh -oh. So what's your, yeah. what's your next to go? Uh, Taco Mama. Okay. It's, like, close enough to each other. Close enough in name. It's, yeah. it's great. Taco Mama. <laughs> Uh, what, what, what do you get in your tacos? You huh? What do you get in your tacos? What do you get? Tacos, burritos, well, quesadillas? You know, the, ones, um, the ones that they have are really, well, when I go to Taco Mama, I get the burritos there. They're like yeah. huge. Like mm -hmm. Love it. I can always bring some home to go. But um, when I did go to Taco Mama Cita, they used to have this thing called like the Cali Club. And they would like okay. eat, um, some kind of sauce they had on it and chorizo and lettuce tomato bacon the, the crunchy taco wrapped up in the soft taco like man i God, just so sad so it good. shut down because like that was like one of my number one recommendations um but another place you need to go to definitely hattie b's you gotta get the hot chicken hot it's a national thing yep um what is what is another place let's see I'm trying to think oh yeah sushi train on Harding okay. Pike. Sushi oh, wow. okay. Sushi. There you go. You go to sushi train. I, That's I the only thing I will eat raw, by the way, too, is is sushi. So. And it's like all you can eat sushi for. Well, this is their lunchtime <laughs> special, but it's all you can eat sushi for like twelve dollars. Really? And it no just way. comes around on a conveyor belt, and you grab it off, and then you eat it. 
I love that. Dude, that is great. That's impressive. What's, yeah, your, what's your favorite food to cook? What's your go-to food to cook? Ooh. Hmm. Pasta. I'm a big pasta ooh, gal. Ooh, okay. Love spaghetti. I actually just had some company send me like three different kinds of pastas, and I've been on a pasta kick this entire week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love pasta. I love Italian food. All right. I love this one. We talked about the Opry. Uh, go along with that in conjunction with it. Um, dream duet partner, whether they're here, I guess, kind of making noise right now, or could be someone from the past. Is there a dream duet partner? You're like, man, I want to record a song with this band, this, this person, this artist, or I want to step on stage with them. You know, if my brother sees this, he's going to laugh, but I've always wanted to do a song with my brother one day. Really? Oh, okay. there you yeah. go. Why is that? Yeah. Michael Tyler, my brother. I want to do a song with him. And he's going to see this probably and be like, Haley, what are you doing? Why didn't you answer with Maren Morris? Why didn't you answer with Jason Aldi? <laughs> no, I want to do a song with my brother. I know that sounds like, Haley, why your brother pick a celebrity? Because it's a question for that. But no, I want to do a song with my brother. Well, that's awesome. I look up to my yeah. brother. I think he's greatest. It looks like it comes straight for the heart, too. Mm -hmm. Favorite favorite dessert? Cookie? Cookies or cake? Mm, cake. Or something else? Cake. What kind? Cheesecake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cheesecake. Hey, this is really cliche, too. But I always go to the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. I mean, I know it's like a chain restaurant. It's not really like one of those locals you got to go yeah, to. It's still good, though. Cheesecake Factory. I'm there all the time, too. I was going to ask you if there was one in Nashville. She answered my question. <laughs> she said, <laughs> that may be a breakfast spot for me and Jeff one morning if it's not the Waffle House. Oh, wait. House, you know, you need to go to Nashville. Nashville. Okay. N-O-S-H. Nashville. Okay. Nashville. They have the best breakfast food and lunch food you can imagine. And it's like one of those local faves that everybody mm. goes to. So you need to check out Nashville. I'm writing that down as we speak right now. We'll Dang, Morel, you're going to gain like 80 pounds. You know, yeah, but man, when you talk a lot. Hey, it's like worth do, it. It's worth it. It's worth it. it. <laughs> so you can burn you walk it all, just walk it off. That too, yeah, because it's going to be cold and I'll be bundled yeah. up in several layers and I'll be walking. I'm not renting a car. I'm walking downtown. We're staying there you at the go. So You have there to. You it's, love. It's love the, that. Ooh, the downtown, central location. Man, I yeah. hardly ever go to downtown. I had my first Broadway experience this past mm -hmm. year. I won't be going again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Man, there are it's some crazy down. It gets crazy down there. It's really, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna you got to gotta stay high alert and be careful. <laughs> it gets no crazy. doubt, it's fun it's though. Gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun, no doubt, for that week too as well. I tell you what else is fun is a rising superstar in country music. Look out! So that Opry stage has her name written at the center circle in all capital letters, and we put Haley right there too as well. Can't wait to see her on that. Uh, Stage one day, and if you're listening out there, Michael, she wants that duet with you, so we'll definitely <laughs> be able to look out for that. And if it's Mary Morris or Aldine or something else comes first, that'll be a, a key cog, no doubt about it, too. Again, the single is uh, Love Too Much out there across all the uh, digital platforms. We love her too much. And, of course, HaleyOfficial.com uh, is the website. More in the makings from the superstar in country music. Haley, we appreciate the time. And, hey, come back anytime. Hope you enjoyed the visit. No Thank doubt. You. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. You got it. No hey, doubt. you guys, you're going to be a star. We know she it. Is. And we'll be seeing you on the big time here soon. And we'll be saying, hey, we interviewed her, whatever, you know, <laughs> back in the day. Now she's no. a, a big superstar. And you know Thank what? You. She's just she's just 21. And that's something right there. That's, that's crazy, right there. too. Just, God, getting just, just even just <laughs> getting started. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, next week we get to talk a lot about a great, one of my favorites uh, from the 90s, John Michael Montgomery coming on the show. And if you like Twisted Sister, uh, the founder and lead guitarist, J.J. French, is going to stop by. And, of course, uh, the countdown to CRS, uh, February 23rd to 25th. Also next week, uh, one of the best. She was on Idol. You might know her. Crystal Bowersox is going to stop by here on the Backstage Pass and, of course, talk about her new album and just so much more happening here on the show that I have to actually look at my calendar to be able to put it on social media now. I cannot remember it. So, uh, but through that, thanks to all the sponsors, to Hank Jr. Productions, Bangtail Whiskey, and MitchMax.com. Uh, we'll talk to you guys Monday on the Backstage Pass. So, Tiona Campbell is going to be our guest. Another fantastic artist will be on the lookout for that. And you guys have a great weekend. And guess what? Stay warm. I don't say that a lot down here in yeah. Texas, but stay warm. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. From all of us, the Backstage Pass, have a great night.